The action continues on WCW Worldwide Wrestling. It should be a great matchup, and we have some great action still to come. Well, Breen, we're, I guess we're getting into the summer months now, here in the month of, my goodness, in the month of June we're getting into. Yeah, June always comes around summertime, Tony. How about that? Right around the corner, summertime. And that means, you know what summertime means for WCW fans? Well, I know some of the big heavier ones can't sit out in the sun because it smells like bacon cooking. But other than that, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> You're such a knucklehead. It means the Great American Bash. Yeah, I was just going to say that. It means Bash of the Beach. It means Hog Wild for three straight months. Some of the greatest wrestling action in the greatest country in the world. In front of the greatest fans. We're going to Japan? Prince Ikea makes his way to the ring. Former world television champ. We'll be talking about the Great American Bash on this huh. program in the weeks to come. And uh, boy, did he meet Mark Starr or what here? Is that a mini skirt he's got on? No, that's not. Oh! That's Mark Starr, though, trying to get a win and got a two count that time. Well, that's right. Let's let the fans know that, of course, the Great American Bash over the top one, two, will be coming to the Mark and the Quad in Moline, Illinois on Sunday, the 15th of June. Now mark that date down because you'll want to call your local cable operator and join us. The event is available exclusively on pay-per-view. Next week on this program, we will give you some of the card for the Great American Bash. As you take a look at this great crowd on hand. You know what I like about this guy, Star, he took it right from the start. He didn't give the prince any time to even get his mini skirt off or, or no, anything. It's not a mini skirt. You well, it's that shower curtain he wears from that Motel 3. Or whatever that thing is. Back elbow. Mark Starr has had a great game plan. He's looked pretty darn good in this yeah, match. Don't, don't worry about the fans, Mr. Starr. Get your job done in there with him. Man was a former television champion. Prince. prince. I, yes, he was. Held it for quite a while, did the prince. Right now, though, he's hurting. Mark Starr has come to fight. What island is the prince exactly from, do you know? Uh, I do not. But it's in the South Pacific. Yes, it is. They don't look like they're kind of angry hanging around the Bronx. Oh, well, I've seen... Well, never mind. Here's a... A dress like that, you won't. He's a tough guy. You he bet he is. He wear a dress wherever he wants. Uh, you admit it, then. I'm going to tell him you said he wears a dress. Well, you're really trying to start some stuff here, aren't you? Plus, what Tanae and Marshall said about you the other day, I don't agree with. Yeah, I don't either. Head first, because you are lying again. Over the top, down into the mat, and we've got Prince Ikea mounting a comeback here on Worldwide. That's using your head, Prince. Scoop slam. What was he before he was a prince? Drive a rickshaw around town I don't or know, Brain. Well, you're supposed to know these Get things. Get to the mat. Oh. Talk to Mike today, next Monday Night Raw. Leave me alone. Prince. Going up top. Watch how he glides. Watch this. Look at that. Prince Ayakea wins again. The flying cross body block. He spends more time in there than Michael Jordan. You ever notice how graceful he is? That's like he just floats. I'm amazed by that. Ceremonial dance, victory dance for the young man. I wonder what he did with all the money. What money was that? His parents gave him for dance lessons. He sure didn't use him for dance lessons. Go ahead. It's okay. a Valvoline replay. There he comes, the human fly off that top rope for the one, two, three. He flies through the air with the greatest of ease, the winner. The Prince, Ayakeu. Valvoline, people who know use Valvoline. Let's go to Lee Marshall.